Hey everybody, Dave here with Quantum Fly. And I thought I would just uh, give you the next uh, story in the ongoing saga of uh, 383 Julia Tango here behind me. So this month uh, is, is a new problem. Um, if you've uh, watched any of the other videos, uh, you may have seen me talk about <clears throat> the repair and the follow-up and you know anytime there's a problem with my plane uh, I like to try to put it out there on uh, on YouTube so you know if you have an SR20 with an Avidine cockpit etc then you can uh, at least you've got something to reference so hopefully this information helps you uh, if you are an SR20 owner or you aspire to become an SR20 owner um, that's kind of the focus of these videos to begin with. So, new, uh, new problem with uh, the Cirrus. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long, but uh, let's go in the cockpit and take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay. Hop on in, and there is the problem. You see over here, we have a MFD, and over here, <laughs> no PFD. Remember we were talking a little while ago about uh, the issues with the blinking? Well, so basically what they did is what what chick found what chick found out is there was a a ground wire coming out of the baffling in the engine it was rubbing against the aluminum baffle and i was getting a i was getting a short and of course that was showing up on the pft so for those of you that are wondering how could this possibly happen check those battery ground leads make sure that uh uh, that your uh, battery ground leads aren't rubbing against anything <clears throat> because that's what will cause, at least I hope, and judging from the flight so far, all it looks good. So far, so good. Well, that blinking turned into the, um, the PFD finally just quitting. In other words, uh, apparently the light quit, the internal light. So I'm hoping that's all it is, but um, how do you fix a problem like this? Well, it's <laughs> there's a couple of different ways. You could wait 60 days and save a lot of money, but who wants their plane down for 60 days? So the other option is uh, the aero plan, and that's what I did. Um, under the circumstances, because of the way it failed, because I did not have a current aeroplan and this plane has been on the aeroplan at least once or twice since it was born um, and it's going back on and if you haven't purchased the plan my recommendation to you is purchase the plan before you have a problem um, because uh, it's it's very costly to fix immediately so this has been removed by airworks and uh, it's going to get sent to uh, Avidine for uh, for repair and hopefully that's going to happen in eight to ten days and we can get back up and start flying again now the good news about this is not only does the aeroplane cover the uh, PFD but it also covers the MFD and you can actually get it to cover all Avidine products in your airplane which is kind of nice I mean um, does it suck that you have to have insurance for your uh, components yeah it kind of does but that's you know it's part for the course it's the cost of owning an aircraft uh, if you have one the value of this aircraft the value that it gives me to be able to um, be three four hours away by car in about an hour hour and a half it far outweighs the you know the, the cost if, if you're using the plane and you know as I'm working on another video here 
um, I'm talking about why or how I use this plane for work. So um, for my job, uh, which which covers pretty much the southern U.S., but anything in the southeastern United States, I can easily fly it. In fact, nowadays, I don't want to sit on an airplane with a face mask on for hours at a time. I'd rather get in my own plane, fly there, and be there on my own time and have the freedom to uh, to choose to wear a mask or not. So uh, this has been this has been a great investment. I love the Cirrus, and uh, uh, this is an unfortunate incident. But uh, like I said, if you don't have the aeroplan, it's probably a good idea to get it. So good luck. Good flying.